just wanted to make a quick video. If you are ever doing brakes on a vehicle, and uh, whether it be, you know, calipers, replace a brake line, mass cylinder, whatever, you go to bleed the brakes, and no matter what you do, the firmness in the pedal will not come back. It just keeps going to the floor. Um, uh, you can, you know, put as many, as, as much brake fluid in the reservoir as you want, uh, run it through the system, get all the air out, and the pedal is still soft. Uh, I don't know why I see this uh, mostly on Silverados. Check the calipers. What happens is, um, and on a lot of Chevys, these calipers, they're interchangeable between the left and right side. You'd never know. You would never know that it's not on the right side until you look at it. Like these right now are not on the right side. So if I take that off and then you go back here and you look at the position of the bleeder screw, so this is how you're gonna find out here. If you go locate the bleeder screw, which on this one is, is here's the caliper, right? It's right here, okay? It's low. Bleeder screws are always supposed to be the highest point on the piston, okay, in that little chamber. So this one is low. So no matter how much you bleed this, it, there's always gonna be air caught up here because air goes to the highest point. So there's always gonna be a pocket of air right up here. And it's just gonna it's just gonna give room for the pedal to push so it'll never get firm. So check the calipers. If the bleeder screw is low, if the if the bleeder screw and the caliper is at a low point, check the other one. Chances are the other side, which on this truck it is low too, they need to be swapped, and then voila, the bleeder screw will be up. This usually happens when people do the brakes themselves. I don't know how they get the air out of there, uh, unknowingly. And they drive around like that for, for years until somebody else goes to try and bleed the brakes and it'll never, it'll never, um, the, the firmness in the pedal will never return. Luckily, I noticed this right when I was bleeding it, so I didn't have to go through all that. But so what you're going to do is you're going to put this on the other side, take the other one off, swap it. Um, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this like this, you, you, and you can do this too. Get it to a position where the bleeder screw is in a high spot, okay? Um, and it's going to be on something because when you press the brakes, that piston is going to move out. So maybe grab a 2x4, stick it in there where the bleeder screw is at a high point now. See how it's high? So stick a 2x4 in there, have your helper depress the brake pedal, bleed the air out of it, and then remove the 2x4 and put it back. Um, it's not the right way to do it, um, but if you're in a bind, um, you don't have time, you can do it that way. So always check the location of your bleeder screw.